Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for joining me today as we study the Psalms verse by verse, looking today at Psalm 65, verses 9, 10, and 11. But we need to begin with verse 8. Because in verse 8, the end of verse 8, we have the first thou statement. So we're going to look at that today. And then verses 9, 10, and 11, which are the focus for today. All of these identify the bounty of God. And remember, Kidner, as I said at the beginning of our study of Psalm 65, has identified this as a psalm or a song of God's bounty. Well, here's where we get it. Uh, Part of it, anyway, is right here in 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 actually also end with this beautiful idea of singing. We'll get to that tomorrow. So let me read 9, 10, and 11 for you. Thou visitest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn, when thou hast so provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou settlest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the spring thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop fatness. Boy, isn't that pretty? So the Lord, what's he doing? Well, we begin right back up there in verse 8, the second half. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and the evening to rejoice. So we begin this section with singing, and in verse 13, we're going to end this section with singing. So there's rejoicing in the morning and the evening. So God is overseeing the working of morning and evening, and evening, the outgoings of the morning and the evening. God is in charge of that. So he's making that so that men rejoice and so that the morning and the evening rejoice. And so what's happening now in between those hours. Well, you visit the earth and you water it. Now we're going to describe what that watering looks like. You greatly enrich it with the river of God, which is full of water. You prepare them corn when thou hast so provided for it. So God visits the earth, he waters it, he enriches it with the river of God, which is full of water, and then prepares corn for the men once he's done that. So he's providing for the time, the morning and the evening. He's providing the necessity, the water and the earth he prepares. And he's providing the corn, which is the food that men are going to rejoice over. Verse 10, you water the ridges, you settle the furrows, you make it soft with showers, you bless the springing thereof. So now we have one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight in total of these thou statements. So this is all about the Lord. Isn't this beautiful? This is how he blesses the environment and thereby blesses men because we can't live in a barren landscape. We have to have this, don't we? We have to have the water. We have to have the softened ridges. I love that. The softened furrows, the settled furrows, I'm sorry, and the Uh, the uh, furrows that are softened by the showers. There it is. And he blesses the springing of the water. So there's still more water here. Verse 11, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness. Now we began with the morning and the evening. Now we've gone to the whole year. So the functions and the artifacts of the day we've discovered, but now that includes the entire year being blessed. He crowns the year with goodness, but not just any goodness, with his goodness. So he's blessing the earth, he's blessing men, and he's crowning the year with his goodness. And notice the next the next statement here, the parallelism, thy paths drop fatness. So this is his goodness, his fatness. That is the abundance of his presence as he passes by. It just kind of falls off of him and blesses everything around him. Now, tomorrow we'll pick up in, let's see, let me turn my page here, verses 12 and 13. And we're going to find out more about this blessedness on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. 
I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.